please tell us uh, you know uh, what according to you makes uh, indian hands bloom so special see it's all connected all the aspects of indian uh, civilizational heritage are interconnected handlooms are very special because handlooms are the first the original make in india product so if you go back to the sindhu saraswati civilization days and if you go back to the excavations of harappa and mohenjodaro there have been uh, scraps of cotton found there which uh, earlier was believed that it was about 3500 to 5000 years ago but now recent excavations by deccan college at rakhigadi believe that uh, the time span of the sindhu saraswati civilization goes back by about 2000 to 2500 years so you would say that these artifacts are about 5000 to 6000 bce which means they are about 7000 years old so 7000 years ago our ancestors not only did not know how to cultivate cotton they obviously knew it they knew how to spin cotton into yarn they had rudimentary looms because they have found many spindles and bobbins in those uh, excavation sites so they knew how to weave that yarn and not only that they also knew how to color that yarn and use modern mordants to fix the color because there have been scraps of cotton found attached to a vase in uh, harappa which has been dyed red using madder or manjishta which is a dye that india uses even today to uh, color textiles so we have a living tradition and it is pretty much followed you know again despite so much of disruption so many invasions so many economic upheavals so many religious upheavals in the country this tradition of handloom weaving has survived in india and that in itself is really a miracle so if you go to ajanta today and if you see those beautiful wall paintings and many of these have uh, you know beautiful paintings of uh, the textiles that the figures are wearing and there is there are two bodhisattvas there one is a padmapani bodhisattva and one is a vajrapani bodhisattva and both of them are wearing what is known as katti vasta a, a cloth around their waist and on that cloth you can very clearly see ikat motifs ikat is a fabric where the yarn is tied and dyed before it's woven and then afterwards it's woven according to the motif that it's tied and dyed with so that same pattern that you see and these scales are 200 uh, ce almost 1800 years old and you see the same pattern with the same color schemes being woven even today in a village in odisha and when you actually go and see it being woven and you juxtapose it in your mind against the painting that you have seen which belongs to 200 ce in ajanta you actually get goose pimples i got goose pimples that this is a tradition that has survived intact for 1800 years even now today when the whole world is talking about slow fashion the whole world is talking about sustainability using less resources producing less consuming less what can be more sustainable and what can be more slow fashion than handloom cloth and you can use handloom cloth for everything it's a myth saying that handloom cloth can be used only in sarees you can search, stitch shirts out of handloom also you can have towels of handloom also you can have bed sheets of handloom also you can have home linen of handloom also but it is a craft that is going to uh, sustain us in the future as well if you go to european countries and if you go to the us today and if you go and visit the handicraft villages you will find there one woman who is set up a loom and who is learning to weave and those weaves are let me tell you extremely rudimentary and they lack the finesse that indian even the most basic most coarse indian handlooms are better than those weaves but because those are niche and handmade and hand crafted things the cost there is astronomical so for a scarf which is hand woven you can expect to pay like 2000 dollars which is ridiculous but that is the value they pay for handmade things and in india because we have handmade things we do not realize the worth of it but the whole future belongs to slow fashion the whole future belongs to using less resources and there can be nothing that is more in line with this kind of thinking than indian handloom which is why indian handlooms are really really important also indian handloom sector employs the second largest number of people in india after agriculture and we only talk about weavers when you talk about handloom uh, handloom cloth but uh, when 
a cloth when when one meter cloth is woven on a handloom there are efforts of at least 15 people that go behind it right from the farmer who grows the cotton or the person who collects the silk cocoons from the forest to somebody who spins yarn from it to somebody who colors it to somebody who sets up the loom to somebody who weaves to somebody who finishes the garment to somebody who decides to motifs to somebody who uh, sells it in the market and then finally it comes to you and it is this chain of 15 people that get work and that get money because of that one uh, meter of hand woven cloth so how can it not be important and this is just the economic aspect of it now let's talk about the spiritual aspect of it if we look at the motifs that are seen in the indian textiles and they're very very sublime very beautiful motifs you will see that all these motifs have uh, meaning they 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 are not just functional they're not just there to make the textile look good they have a spiritual connection they have a connection with nature around it and they have been thought of because of a certain reason so uh, there is deep symbolism so for example a bridal paithani in maharashtra is uh, traditionally supposed to have a motif of parrots why parrots because parrots are the vahana of kamadeva so when you are getting married you are obviously uh, taking a vow to save To, to the husband and wife are supposed to take a vow saying that they'll walk in the matters of uh, artha kama and moksha uh, artha kama and dharma together not moksha so because of that because you are uh, she's in uh, the bride is entering the world of kama she's entering the world of desire she is supposed to have that parrot on her sari on her bridal sari as a symbolic gesture that is why you are supposed to have parrots so every motive has a meaning like that every motive has some kind of spiritual significance so everything is interconnected interconnected religion cannot be you know separated or dharma religion is a wrong word to use actually dharma cannot be separated from the way you live so everything is interconnected and because of that indian handlooms are as much a part of our culture and of our religious thought as say temples cultures that is so fascinating uh, shafali ji um, and you sort of beautifully summarized uh, you know indian handlooms for us in in such a short period of time and uh, i think uh, uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing all of your insights i think we've covered a very wide uh, ranging topics uh, from the media and the entertainment industry to some of the contemporary uh, developments to uh, uh, our civilizational heritage including uh, temples and uh, even handlooms uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us at the festival of bharat uh, as always it is it is our pleasure to welcome you and uh, we are so grateful uh, for for all your insights uh, that you've just shared with us thank you so much it's always a pleasure to be on festival of bharat and i look forward to having future interactions as well and it was really wonderful Thank you so much, uh, Shafali ji, uh, and to our viewers, I would like to uh, request you please do continue to support us, share our videos, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, both our channels, that is the Festival of Bharat and Chitti Media, because we will be con uh, uploading content on both of them. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on uh, on this conversation. We'll be back so very soon. Until then, take care. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.